Welcome back to the channel, guys and gals. My name is Norman, also known as King Julian. So, we are back. Um, my son has disappeared, and I have no idea where he disappeared to at in the house, because he was supposed to be here while we did this, and he has decided to take off. And I still don't see him coming around the corner. But what we're doing right now is we're going to be attaching the roof to his box car that we're building and uh, the roof will still have to be of course rounded edges it's going with more of a modern day take on a refrigerated box car we're gonna go say just probably late 70s and yeah, I don't know maybe 50s or 60s something like that it's kind of the era that we're gonna shoot for on that and I'm gonna be using the uh, Loctite power grip glue. Speaking of the devil, he just came running. And he's laying behind me. Hey. You gonna, you gonna be a part of this video? I mean, uh, this is your this is your car. You're the one learning how to build it. I'm the one just showing you how to do the stuff. You do glue at times? No, not yet. Fix it too. I gotta clean this out first. Cool. So why don't you go get your little stool so that you can be short like I am right now. Like I'm sitting way low in the seat like how Dad used to drive a semi. Way low. Really? Hey, by the way, where did we put the... Oh, never mind. Hey, go get your stool. <laughs> what do you mean, huh? PDSP. Oh, I see it. Okay. Alright. So, what we're going to do... We're going to use basically like a popsicle stick, which I got some more around here somewhere. I just don't know where I'm quite stuck in that right now. Oh, don't think you're getting away with this one. I oh, am. no. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. <laughs> the arguments we have about who's going to do what. Hmm. All right. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to use this power grip Loctite. I got some blue tape right here because what I'm going to put this on, I'm going to clamp it down. Set so that away. Um, of course, I don't know where my big C clamps are at either right now. So we're just going to kind of bypass that and use the wood as the clamp to uh, clamp it down, make sure that it goes level. And then we'll take it outside to the garage and we will, at that point, sand it to make sure everything is smooth <clears throat> and then I will show him how to round the edges on it he's been learning on the belt sander I haven't been letting him do it but I'm showing him what to do and how to do it and how to be able to check things and he's been able to check for smoothness as well so give me a second here as I'm cleaning off the stick the little stick and this is what we're going to use to spread everything with And there's been another change to the refrigerated car I've been working on. i got to put another second of dark gray paint on it. But, hey, it works. All right. If we were using wood glue, this would be a very long process. But this power grip glue right here, Loctite, is pretty nice stuff. Oil. Huh? Oil. Oreo. Oreo. Cookie. Oreo cookie. No. You said I can have two and I bought the Oreos. Yes, I did. And you never give me two. Do you know where the Oreos are at? No. I might know where they're at. Where? I don't know. 
How about we finish this up and do one thing at a time? <laughs> hey, you're the one that wanted to do this. So this is your idea, and you're doing it. Yeah. You're at least going to be watching and learning. <laughs> Why Dad does all the work. Yeah. Funny how that works out. One day you have kids, and you sit back and go, Oh, look at them. They're so young and so adorable and sweet. And then they hit nine years old. Yeah. No. I can only imagine what his teen years are going to be like. So, okay, so we got about that much glue in there. This is a kind of more of a paste, so. We're going to get it right up here. We're going to go up around the edges. A couple little areas. God forbid if there's anything like what I was as a teenager. Hmm. See lots of police calls. Well, let's just hope for the best on that one. By the way, did I feel to mention this stuff is kind of sticky? So this stuff will take about, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes to dry. And then it takes 10 minutes. It takes 10 minutes to tack up. And then we will take it and sand it. And this will allow everything to bond nice and tight. So right now this is clamped, it's drying. That's what we want it to do before we start anything else. And that will take care of that. Now this paste, this lock grip tight or grip power power grip uh, lock tight glue actually also makes a good sealant. If you have a small gap fills it in. Makes it look really nice. And make sure you have a nice smooth lines.
All right, so there we go. That's how we're going to do this for now. We're going to let everything dry up, and then we're going to take it out and sand it here in just a little bit. It'll take about 45 minutes for this to dry, and uh, then we'll move to the next step of rounding the roof and showing him how we're going to sheet it. Hey. What? You at a point where you're almost ready to put a sheath on this, put a covering on it? What's this, a sheath? A sheathing is where you take wood and you cover this. Um, you cover it all the way around. With what? Wood? We're, yep. We're going to use wood because you start building this out of wood, we're going to finish this in wood. Okay? okay. All right. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, nice little session that my son was supposed to be in that he keeps hiding from the camera. We don't know why he likes to hide from the camera, but he does. As he's giving me this look right now, like, I don't know. Anyways, y'all have a wonderful evening. Keep the shiny set up, rubber down. I will see you on the next video. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. We will see. Y'all take it easy. See y'all on the flip side. <coughs> what he said. <coughs>